guys, it's me. Thanks for tuning in to another Fashion Du Jour Daily Outfit of the Day video. Um, I'm kind of excited about today's outfit. I know I'm a dork, but for good reason. The necklace that I'm wearing and number two, the um, leggings that I'm wearing. Okay, so my outfit. Um, my jacket I got from Forever 21 around the holidays, so about a month ago. It was the last jacket there. I love it because it's got all the shearling detail that's really in style right now. Um, it's a nice wool um, shell and it's got zippers and you know all that fun stuff that's really going on and in style right now. Um, underneath I have just a plain pocketed short sleeve v-neck tee cotton from Target. Below that just a black cami. Um, also have on a gold watch which I only have on because I had to take it to get some links removed. I don't think I would normally wear it with this outfit, but whatever. That's what I've got on today. Um, so, gold watch. It's, I, and I think I mentioned it maybe in my last vlog or maybe it was my last post. It's from Target. I needed a gold watch. Target seems to have everything. And proof that they do, I found the gold watch. So, gold watch. Um, the, my shoes are from H&M. Got them when I was Christmas shopping. My shoe broke in the store, so fortunately I found these black shoes and they rescued me from my fashion faux pas, my fashion emergency. Um, so my leggings, I love. I mean, as you'll notice, they have this sheen to them. They're they're um, I don't know what the fabric is, but they're by American Apparel. And they're so 80s, they're so retro. I just really love that American Apparel brings those, um, you know, really popular and fun materials, fabrics from the older days, the 70s, 80s, and, um, you know, brings them back into style and makes them available for us fashionistas to purchase. So um, that's my leggings, and I really love them. They're so comfortable. They were about 40 bucks. So, kind of a splurge for leggings, I'll admit. Um, so anyway, that's my leggings. And my necklace was actually something that was made for me. Um, I have a really wonderful and creative and beautiful co-worker who also does jewelry and she made this. This is um, a coin that another co-worker gave to me when she, from when she was spending some time in Australia um, for school. So that's a coin there. I think it says 50 on it. So maybe it's worth $50. <laughs> anyway, um, the rest of these coins are just from, you know, various places. Um, so they're really fun. And then this little, it looks kind of like a wheat, um, a wheat plant. I don't know, to me at least. So, and it's a fun gold color. So, um, or uh, not color, but, you know. Um, mineral. <laughs> so, and then the necklace is just this really nice gold link type of necklace. Um, I thought it was kind of uh, fun because you can wear it also as a belt. And I'll show you really, really quickly. Um, today it ha kind of happened accidentally that I wore it as a belt, but let me show you what I mean. So, about, well, duh, you know what a belt is, but isn't that kind of fun? I thought it was a cute little look. You know, I might wear it, I don't know when, but I might. <laughs> you might see me wearing this little belt necklace around my waist. Um, so anyway, that's my outfit of the day. I wanted to try to get into another segment of um, what I do here on my channel, and that's kind of... I don't really have a name for it, but basically what I'll be doing is sharing with you um, some magazines that are in the stores now that um, I've purchased or I've subscribed to, I've flipped through and I've found things that I really like. And um, so in just a moment, I'm going to share with you um, February's Bazaar magazine and pull out some things that I think are really cute and will be, you know, some really fun trends for us to follow. Um, going forward. So hold on tight and I'll be right back. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. So as I said, this is kind of 
a new segment that I'll be adding to Fashion Du Jour Daily Channel. And the idea is that I'm going to be reviewing some of the magazines that I subscribe to. Namely, Harper's Bazaar, because that's one of my favorite magazines. There's just always so many inspirational pieces in it. And so hopefully this will give you um, a better guide for picking and choosing which magazines you choose to spend your hard-earned money on. Um, so let's get started. Today's magazine, like I said, is Harper's Bazaar. It's the February edition with Nicole Kidman on the front with this fabulous sequin leopard dress. And um, so I'm just going to pull out the things that I thought were pretty cool, some things that I would stick on my inspiration board, and hopefully that will give you an idea of whether or not this is something that you want to spend your money on. So first of all, I have to say, Gucci, I love you. Look at the colors in this ad. Green, purple, red. Like, I don't know what normal person would think green, purple, and red work, but clearly they do. I just love all of the colors. It just, they go so well. So anyway, just wanted to point that one out. And I think this ad is probably in all of the magazines, but anyway, love it. So the next thing that I pulled out of this magazine that was kind of interesting. Now let me just kind of preface, preface this by saying that Harper's Bazaar isn't necessarily a magazine I would go to for insight or you know any content of value that I would you know be really trying to learn from. But um, it does have some articles here and there that are kind of fun. So this article is. Um, on Roger Berman, who is Rachel Zoe's husband, and he goes on to talk about how he's always in the backlight. He's kind of the invisible husband and, you know, that kind of a thing. So it's kind of funny, kind of sad. I kind of feel bad for him. He needs a hug for sure, probably from Rachel. Um, but I just thought it was a fun, funny article. Um, so that was interesting. And then... Something else that I gained inspiration from was this guy right here. So it looks, obviously it's a red Hawaiian style kind of shirt, but it just seems like something that is so DIYable. So it may be something that I'll be adding to my DIY box. <laughs> we'll see. And then I like how they put this scarf right next to it because it matches those the color of those flowers so nicely. So um, that was a good takeaway from that section of the magazine. Next, I was really, really glad to see that slick back hairstyles and ponytails in particular are coming back. So this spread, the model in every shot has this really cute slick back ponytail and is just, I mean, Clearly, the hairdresser for this photo shoot had, like, no, <laughs> nothing to do. She was probably sitting there hours on end um, doing nothing. But, I mean, look at the, the ponytail. It's just slick back ponytail, really simple, but it looks so chic, and it makes her look so put together. Um, there's one more shot, yeah. So, I just love that. So, I'm glad to see that's coming back into style. Um, and then lastly, well not lastly, I have two more things. Um, so as I mentioned about the articles with this magazine, not really anything that you gain too much insight from, unfortunately, but there are some interesting reads. And this was another interesting read. It's called Is Staying in Love a Choice? And so the author just goes on to talk about love and her experience with divorce and her experience with love and is it really worth working for. Um, I think what was interesting about this is she didn't take the traditional dark, you know, depressing, negative uh, stance on marriage. She took a very positive stance and she talks about the fact that, you know, a lot of people say marriage is work and marriage is hard work. but you know, some marriages aren't work, and they're fun, and they're happy, and all of that stuff. So it was kind of inspiring to see someone take a not-so-negative stance on marriage. Um, so the last thing that I pulled from this magazine that I was really glad to see once again was the middle part. And what do I mean by the middle part? I mean the middle part. <laughs> so you'll see in this 
um, little picture here. All four of the models have a part in the middle of their head and a slick back look. Um, the text that accompanies that picture talks about um, the part being worn back in a bun, uh, in a ponytail, hair straight down. And um, so it was interesting to see that that's coming back. And then the last thing, where is it? Oh, this magazine has a section every month called Fabulous at Every Age. And it just shows you ways to wear different things depending on your age group. So it starts with the 20s. Since I'm only 18, there's nothing for me to look at, really. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, no, so there's a lot of fun things to see. Every issue is just like the part of the, the issue that I go to. Um, but what I really loved was in the 50s age bracket. I loved that there's these really traditional colors going on. The blue, the um, camel, this, this um, wine colored pant here and it just is really really simple but the colors are so bold and solid that it just really looks chic so I was really glad to see that this was something that is coming back for in terms of fashion so the big question would I recommend purchasing it spending your money on it and um, honestly probably not and the reason is because a lot of the looks I feel like are have been done before um, I was really glad to see that things are coming back but it wasn't necessarily anything new. So although there may have been one or two pages that I would pull out and stick on my inspiration board, I don't think that it's worth the four bucks that it costs at the newsstand price. So anyway, good luck next month, Harpers. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find some better things there. Um, so you can follow me on my blog, as I always say, fashiondujourdaily.com. You can also check me out on Twitter. My handle is fashiondujour. And again, as always, thanks for tuning in and watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.